Let me just apply a little bit more lip balm and we can get into this. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going through my favorites and empties as you can see from the title. So let's go ahead and kick it off with the two empties that I have for July. This first one is going to be the AOA Perfect Filter Face Primer. And as you can see here, it is completely empty. There is nothing that comes out. I'm not gonna cut this open. It's a dollar on Shop Miss A. I love it, it's my favorite primer. But I did go ahead and empty this one, so I had to open my back up. Now I need to order some more, of course, because I love it. But I did go ahead and finish one of these. This next one is going to be the little uh, sampler size or travel size, I guess, of the Dior. This is the Dior Show Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. This mascara was okay. Um, I did like it, but I didn't like the brush. I'm not a big fan of those natural bristle brushes. So I liked it. Probably would not repurchase this one. And let's get into the favorites for the month of July. You guys, I am not gonna repeat myself, so if I have something that I absolutely love that you've heard and then get ready with me or something else, you're not gonna see it here. But I do have some products that I have not mentioned and get ready with me. Okay, one of these I do mention all the time and I get away with me, but I just had to mention it again. So the first thing is what you saw me putting on in the intro, and this is the Elf Ride or Die Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Just Peachy. You guys, I have a like peachy look going on today, and this has just been a staple for the hotter months. Normally, I would always wear my liquid lipstick, and a lot of times I do just have my liquid lipstick on. I don't, I don't care, but I've been enjoying this, and it does have more of a color than a lot of my lip glosses do, believe it or not. And I think it's just a very pretty color and it goes with a lot of the more peachy, more bronzed looks for the summertime. So I have been really, really enjoying the uh, Elf Rider Dye Lip Balm. And now I'm kind of sad that they discontinued these. Now this was not a favorite in the winter time. I do keep my makeup up in my office in the winter time and this here, it does get very hard to squeeze in the winter time, but in the summertime, in the warmer months, this is so easy to use, very easy to apply, and I just love it. And I've been using this pretty much nonstop for um, any of my peachy looks, like what I got going on today. This next one is going to be the Benefit Gold Rush Blush, and this is just a mini here that I picked up from um, TJ Maxx. I do know Benefit has discontinued this blush, and I'm kind of really sad about this because I have to tell you guys, I love my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Ethereal Glow. I've been panning it for freaking ever, you guys. Ever. But I will say it is definitely more of a cool tone pink. This right here is more of that peachy um, color, but it gives the same look. It's not shimmery. There's no sparkle in it. It's just like a luminous blush. I'm wearing it this one today. And you guys, it looks like I'm wearing a highlighter, but I'm not. And I've really been enjoying that. And when I first got this blush, I did not like it at all. I did not seem very pigmented to me, but now that I've been panning the hourglass and really enjoying just like that, like light flush of color with a little bit of luminosity to it, this one here is perfect to go with more warm tone looks, more peachy looks like what I got going on today. And it's just pretty. So I'm gonna have to see, I'm really kind of mad that they just like, that I'm just now getting into this and they just continued it, but I will say I'm going to check Hourglass and see if they have like a comparable color to this and I'm also going to check um, Benefit and see if their new line of blushes does have a comparable color to this because I love this. I think it's gorgeous, especially for the summer months. This next one is going to be the AOA Fat Lash Mascara and you guys, I just love this and I mostly love it because of the wand. And you guys are probably thinking that that looks a lot like the Dior. This is actually smaller than the Dior and it is a rubble, rubber bristled brush. It's just, there's a lot of them on there. And I really do enjoy this. I really do enjoy the look that this gives my lashes. I have found, however, that I can get this look with pretty much any mascara. I've got a new technique that I've been using where I apply a ton of product to my outer lashes and then just barely coat the inner lashes. And it gives me more of a 
false lash look, a wide open look. I just, I love the look. And I've been doing that with this mascara and I really, really like it. However, this mascara is sold out on Shop Miss A. So I am trying a new mascara. Um, I'll have the mascara that I'm wearing linked below, but I am trying a new mascara to see if I can find another mascara that I like just as well as this one. But this holds up to my active lifestyle, you guys. I, this does not come off until I take it off at the end of the night, which is very, very nice. And I do love this formula. I hope they restock it on Shop Miss Day sometime soon, but until then, um, I might be searching for a different mascara yet again. And this last product you guys have heard me talk a lot about, however, the product that I'm going to be mentioning is this one up here, this pressed powder. So this is the Makeup Revolution IRL powder. And you guys all know that I love the translucent powder. I have raved about that translucent powder. Not so much the component for it because it is quite messy and I do decant it into a different container so I can use it easier. But you guys, I have started using this pressed powder on the top here to set my under eyes and it is gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. That is probably the only way I will use this powder because I do not like the way it sets my makeup on the rest of my face. And it doesn't actually set the makeup on the rest of your face. It leaves, like, I have very oily skin, so when I set my face and I touch my face, I do not want to feel moisture when I'm first putting on my makeup because during the day, my oils are going to break through and my face will become very, very tacky and I will have to repowder. And this here doesn't even set it down to start with. But underneath the eyes, it does take away like the tackiness of the concealer and it just leaves like an airbrushed look that helps the concealer not sink in to my like fine lines and crinkles. I am over 40, so there are fine lines and crinkles underneath there. So I do actually really enjoy this powder now that I have found a way to use it that I like so I can actually use this whole component. I am so excited about that. But yes, that has definitely been a favorite now that I've figured out how to use it. Okay, and these last three products are non-makeup products, but the first one is going to be a perfume, and this is the Finery Not Another Cherry Perfume, and you can find this one at Target. I picked this up, I wanna say in May, or even before that, and I did not like this at all. It seemed very heavy, very, like just one of those perfumes that kind of makes it almost hard to breathe which i did not exactly appreciate for this and this collected dust for about a month and then i was like okay well if i don't like it i'm gonna get rid of it because i don't like clutter hanging around especially if i'm not going to use it and i tried this again and for some reason i love it i've been wearing this almost non-stop for all of july and it does go very well with another product that i'm going to be showing you guys and you wouldn't think so but it's just good and it's a fun scent for summer even though in the winter it seems too heavy i don't know if that makes any sense but i've really been enjoying this you guys and you haven't if you haven't tried it they do have a tester out at target and i highly recommend you try it before you buy it. The other product that I was talking about that it goes well with that you wouldn't think so is going to be the Bath and Body Works Sunscreen Lotion and this is in the Waikiki Beach Coconut Scent. This is an SPF 20 and when I hauled this in my Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul, which I will have linked down below if you wanna go check it out. But when I hauled it there, I did have three of these and I told you guys I was not gonna be using this as my main sunscreen, which I do not. The way I use this is I put it it on first thing in the morning and it gives me just that little bit of SPF coverage and moisture that I need first thing in the morning and then when I go out I will spray on a sunscreen over this but the reason I really like this is because this lotion gives my skin this just healthy glow that is lotion there. That is that lotion, and I think it's so pretty. I will put it on my shoulders and on my arms, and when I'm riding my bike outside, I just feel like it gives my skin this pretty glow. And I love the scent of this. You would think the coconut and the cherry don't go together, but these two, two tend to complement each other, surprisingly enough. So I do like this, and I've been using this nonstop. I put it on every morning. It is a very moisturizing, and here it is, like, that's dried down. And here's the sheen it leaves on your skin. And I love putting this, like I said, on first thing in the morning. It's very moisturizing. It gives me just that little bit of SPF if I'm only riding my bike up to, you know, the store really quick and I'm not planning on spending all day outside or walking to the mailbox. It just gives you that little, little bit of SPF 
of I do of course apply moisturizer over it and absolutely love this this last product is more new to me but I love it this is the Neutrogena makeup melting micellar cleanser jelly and I ran out of my elf um, makeup melting balm that I usually use and I do double cleanse and I do usually use a makeup melting balm and then um, my Naturium cleanser. I think it's a jelly cleanser. But I saw this on clearance at Target and I was intrigued to buy it and Neutrogena does make some products that I do like so I wanted to try it out. And you guys, for a micellar cleansing jelly, this acts just like a balm, it's just in a pump. So this is the micellar cleansing jelly there and it is as you can see, it's very thick like the balm would be. It's just if you warm a balm up in between your fingers and you get that consistency, that is pretty much the consistency of this micellar cleansing jelly. And it removes the makeup just as easy as the e.l.f. and I don't have to dip my fingers in there. I just like this application better and it's just as good. The price of this, this is 6.3 fluid ounces and it was on clearance for $8. And the e.l.f. one I believe is like $11, if I'm wrong I'll leave it on the screen. But the e.l.f. one's like $11 for this little teeny tiny tub that I go through pretty quickly. So I, I'm, I'm loving this and if I can find it, if it's not being discontinued and that's why it was on clearance, but if I can find this again, I, this is going to be my new repurchase because I just like the consistency, I like that you get more product, I just like this better than the e.l.f. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my July favorites and my empties. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been enjoying this month and I will see you in the next one. Bye!